Raytheon unveiled a new medium-range missile design that is roughly half the size of the company's existing AIM-120 MROM, but that it says will have equivalent and in some cases superior performance. The new weapon, called Peregrine, could effectively double the number of missiles that fighter jets such the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter or F-22 Raptor can carry internally greatly increasing their magazine capacity when they are in their most stealthy configurations. The missile was unveiled for the first time at the Air Force Association's main annual convention on September 16, 2019. Peregrine will have at least as much reach as an MROM and the maneuverability of a Sidewinder, but in a package just 6 feet long and weighing only 150 pounds. The AIM-120 is around 12 feet in length and weighs around 345 pounds. Peregrine will allow US and Allied fighter pilots to carry more missiles into battle to maintain air dominance. Dr. Thomas Bussing, the Vice President of Raytheon Advanced Missile Systems, said in a statement. With its advanced sensor, guidance and propulsion systems, packed into a much smaller airframe, this new weapon represents a significant leap forward in air-to-air -air missile development. Raytheon has offered limited details so far about its missile's exact capabilities and features. What little is known is that Peregrine will have a multi-mode autonomous seeker and a new, high-performance propulsion section. The guidance system is tri-mode, according to some sources, a combination of the radar homing capabilities of the M120. With the imaging infrared seeker of the AIM-9X would be the most likely options. This would offer an alternative means of finding the target in the event of electronic warfare jamming during the terminal phase of the missile's flight. It similarly could rely on the radar seeker if the target's defensive countermeasures blinded or confused its infrared optics. The third method of operation could be a capability to actively home in on a target's electromagnetic emissions such as those from its own radar. A data link, which it will absolutely have, will only add to the missile's range and ability to more easily kill targets at closer ranges. The Peregrine would most likely use an advanced rocket motor for propulsion. It's also unclear what AIM-120 variant Raytheon is comparing Peregrine's range to, as the capabilities of the later AIM-120C and especially the AIM-120D, are very different from those of the earlier AIM-120 variants. Publicly available estimates put the AIM-120D's maximum range at between 75 and 100 miles. A multi-pulse rocket motor using improved high-grain propellant might be able to provide this kind of range performance in a smaller package. Northrop Grumman uses similar rocket motor technology to give the AGM-8080 Harm a significantly greater range over the existing AGM-8080 Harm, but without increasing the weapon's overall length. Raytheon itself has been investigating a high-grain propellant rocket motor as part of possible updates for the M9X. Advanced Warhead Technology or possibly the elimination of the warhead entirely in favor of a hit-to-kill design that physically slams into its target to destroy it, could allow for more space to go to the propulsion system and its fuel as well. Peregrine would have extreme maneuverability, thanks to its advanced thrust vectoring system. This feature is derived from technology developed for the AIM-9X. Peregrine doesn't represent the first time a company has sought to develop a miniaturized beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. Lockheed Martin touted a very similar weapon, called CUDA, in the early 2010s, though it has largely disappeared from the company's marketing in recent years. The Air Force has also been exploring this category of missiles in recent years through programs such as the Small Advanced Capability Missile SACM and Miniature Self-Defense Munition MSDM. From what we know of CUDA, this weapon was to offer a shorter range than the M120, and was also expected to be hit to kill. Whatever the case, 
Any half-sized medium-range air-to-air missile could offer significant benefits to a modern combat jet, especially stealthy designs that have to carry their weapons internally to maximize their radar evading capabilities. At present, the F-35, for example, can only carry for M120s internally, while the F-22 can carry six in its main weapon bay. Peregrine offers the potential for those aircraft to double their magazine capacity without any major modifications. Even if Peregrine's range turns out to be significantly less than the AIM-120D, the ability for stealthy aircraft to carry relatively large numbers of them in combination with full-size MROMs, or future missiles such as the AIM-260, could be extremely beneficial. Make sure to like and share this video. And subscribe for more.